Hey friends, today's video is a consignment shop haul. So if you are interested in what I what items I've picked up at two different local consignment shops, definitely stay tuned for today's video. Just a quick programming note before I get into today's video, I am going to be doing a challenge with um, Angela's Reseller World. And so um, if you're interested in participating in the challenge with us, um, starting next Sunday, we're going to be listing 20 items a day. If 20 is too much for you, that's fine. You decide on a number for yourself and leave it in the comments today. And hope we're going to hold your, ourselves accountable. So it starts next Sunday, which I believe is February 7th. We're going to list the same amount of items each day and work on being consistent and see how that grows our businesses. So if that's something you're into, um, go ahead and leave in the comments how many you're going to commit to doing. And we'll do quick videos each day next week to talk about reselling, just quick tips and tricks for listing consistency consistently and the important, importance of consistency. So I hope that you will join us on this challenge and participate with us. Now on to the video. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Free Queens Resale and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and if you are returning, thank you for coming back. I love my resale presence and thanks for being part of my positive reseller community. On this channel, I talk about all things reselling and how to start your resale business, um, things to source, how to grow, and I do challenges with myself and try to bring you guys in as well as listen to information and share information and answer questions that you might have about reselling. So if all of that sounds amazing to you, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and today I'm going to share with you um, a haul. Um, if you are a reseller bestie, then you know that I like to source in many different places and one of those places is consignment shops. So I have um, a small haul from two consignment shops that I went to, one on Thursday and one um, on Friday. So I'm just going to run through and uh, go through what I got and try to tell you what I hope to get for the items. Um, so this first item, um, This first item, sorry, it took me a minute to read my receipt. Um, I did pay up for it. It is a Johnny Was silk dress. It is not one of the embroidered pieces, but the reason I paid up for it, $27 for this dress, is because I saw comps over $300. And this is a size extra large. This is, um, I think it is, but I'm not going to be bold. I knew it wasn't this one, but I'm not going to be bold. Um, so it's silk. I feel like it should have some type of slip piece because you cannot just be out in the streets. Look how short this is. You cannot. I, that's my share. That's how, I'm, I'm a Midwest girl. I would have a slip on every day. Um, it is definitely, you need a slip on. But it's a um, beautiful Johnny Wells piece. So that is my big score. And I generally don't spend that much money on items, one item, unless I feel like I can really recoup my money pretty quickly. But as I've mentioned, I am trying to source items that will bring in $30 or more. So all of you big girl queens, I'm trying to source up for you. So <laughs> I went all in on that one. Um, the next item was this um, Fabletics. Um, wrap 
jacket thing. It has the belt attached. It's a size extra small. I, I'm a, not an extra small. I'm a large, extra large, and I can squeeze into this. So the belt is attached right here. I didn't really lose it, and I just thought this would be a great piece for someone um, needing a carpool or running errands because it can get kind of um, chilly at the end of the spring when you don't run out of big thick coat. Next up, I'm not going to go through the prices for everything because. As you can tell by the Johnny Woods piece, it takes me a minute to get everything to see. This is J. Jill, and I paid like less than two bucks for it. So it's just a gray lady dress, size extra small. I probably get about 20 bucks for this. I'm thinking about 40 bucks for this. Now, these are Columbia, but I the Columbia Titanium pants. They're size four. I paid a dollar eighty for them. I got them because I thought it'd be a great thing as people want to get back outside and get into nature from hiking, or even wearing right now. But I just got the um, cargo pockets. Um, that was a good deal for that. Now I am done with my notes. So this is. Um, an old Oakley, and when I looked up comps, they were going up between fifty and seventy-five, and I paid a dollar eighty for that. So hopefully, those are not old comps. This is a good, pretty good dress. It's a size real small. I don't think it's that small, so I'm not going to try to get into it. It does need some lint rolling. Another reason I like to source from sighting shops is because a lot of times the pieces are in really good condition. They've been hung, they've been washed, and so they're just um, at the step that I can cut, cut out um, for myself. You can just get right to in the processing stage to steaming and measuring, whereas when I get things from the bins, all of that stuff has to be washed. Um, and a lot of times, consignment items, I very rare, I do find flaws when I'm looking, but not like the bin. So the items have already been vetted, so it's um, an easier process to process them. Next up are these. Now, this is from a different consignment shop than the other items. This is the pink image I got on Black Friday, but I paid $3 for them. And these are size, um, these are large bucks. And in another video, I mentioned that whenever let's see if I can find that whenever I see loft bus, I always pick it up because it does well for me. Um, these are probably selling full price, past new price. Um, so I'll look up the comps. They are a size twenty six. So yeah, that's about it. Pass up little Jean. Um, another lightweight jacket. This is an old navy um, extra small just a violet kind of cool grip jacket I paid two dollars and eighty cents for this so hoping to get about 30 for the loft jeans hoping to get like 30 or 35 for 40 now and y'all know I love a denim jacket one day I'm gonna put together a denim jacket but this is pure fur and waterpress so that's an anthropology brand the arms looked a little longer on this, which I like because I have long arms, so um, you can still cuff them and then have plenty of like sleeve. It wouldn't be way up here, but I mean, this is a size small, and I paid two dollars and eighty cents for this, hoping to get about thirty five or forty for the foils. I have not looked up for real foil comps. I do that when I'm listing, but these are just based on what I done over the past three years. So, this guy I got at the consignment shop I went to Friday. And so I picked it up because I've been sending in, I believe it's a real deal. Um, I'm sending in one once a month. So I'm starting to get my February thing together. And so I wanted, the real world takes the kids clothes. So I wanted to, if I find kids clothes that they take, send them in. Um, because I don't find high-end pink 
kids close out often, but I also don't look that much. So this was a high-end brand that I didn't recognize until I looked it up on the Real Grill. Um, this, this was only a dollar, but these are selling in under $80, like this brand, not this particular item. So the thing about the Real Grill, things stay on there if they accept it, then food excels. So this is like a screw grill dress which is not going to sell at all because it's a September hot October, but if they were to take it, um, yeah, and the brand is called, hold on, uh, Major Chic, I'll put it on the screen, um, but yeah, this cute little girl dress that I'm going to send to Greta, and I'm going to, or I'm sorry, the Real Real, um, and the Real Real is a luxury brand. The thread up is more of my clearance closeout stuff. So this was another item that I got specifically for, you know, to send them to the real grill. It is New York Bags. Um, it is the brand Worth. It is a tweed skirt. I paid three dollars and eighty cents for it. Um, it does not have the retail price on here, but um, this is a brand that I do takes so I was like you know what let me give it a try I have not in the past been sourcing specifically for things to send in the, to there but since I am sending a bag every month and I am packing in progress why not now this I saw last month and it was not on sale but it got my dress clearance so it was three dollars this is a plus size size 22 orange tweeted maxi skirt really really well for me to send this brand and so I had the you know that's going to do really well I'm going to list it for like 30 or 40 um I have to double check on my coupons but um yes definitely all about that life um these are Adriana for she so she these are the sleepy slim straight and they were in really good condition um, they, I paid two dollars and forty cents for them. Um, I'm gonna look up comps. There was a lot of AG at the consignment shop this week, and I only got this pair. I mean, I seriously could have gotten eight other pair, but I got this pair. I'm gonna see how they do, and then kind of decide if I ever want to switch that one to my arsenal. As I've said in my other video, I am not using any cut point of cloth anymore. I just am bringing. The numbers that I want so I may I think I may ramp up on AG I think I have two pair already listed that I sourced from the bins but you know that's where we're at so this is Athleta I got a few Athleta pieces this is a size small and it's just a hooded like go over kind of top um, it's oversized and I'll have to look up the real athletic name and look at the comps and hopefully be able to list it with a flat bow like I just got the Anna Maria Wood on our thing. Another athletic piece and I paid $1.60 for that. So if I could get 30 for that, that would be really cool. That would be awesome. Now this piece I don't expect to get 30 for, maybe 20, but this is also an athletic. It's a size medium. It cost me $1.60 to get it as well. But it's just a nice long sleeve rain shirt as people start to transition to working outside. And last but not least, this is my second favorite piece because I called the first piece of this that I was kind of orange on it was. But this is Free People and it's a large um, poncho front zip utility jacket hooded thing. It's got lots of new things. I saw stock photos of it. It looks amazing. Um, comps were running between 98 and 120. Um, I paid, I think it was like $140 for this. So hopefully it does really, really well. It is a size large, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fit it. So. So it has these pom 
poncho, it's got snaps on the side, so you can wear it as a poncho, a zip it up and use it as a poncho, or you can snap those and wear it as a shirt. But yeah, oh, I just love this thing. I love this thing, guys. It's a matte tan. It's I really like it. It's it's got a little stain on it, so you can see that. You guys just noticed. Um, but I'll stain stick that and get that out and get this listed so that's it everyone that is my consignment haul um let me know in the comments what your favorite item was and let me know how your sourcing has been doing for the week once again if you are still here thank you so much make sure you hit that like button on your way out and until next time hi everyone it's stephanie from three queens resale and if you are new to my channel Thank you so much for joining me. It does mean a lot that you took the time to click on me and see what I'm all about. And if you're returning, hey girl, hey, hey reseller besties. I love my reseller besties. Thank you for being a part of my wonderful YouTube community that I'm trying to uh, create here. All about resell, sustainable fashion, and making money and hustling for yourself. So if that sounds good to you, hit that like button and let's go. So today's video, I'm sharing with you my thread up strategy. I've already sh shared with you my how I'm going to use the real reel, and I'll do monthly reports with the real reel with what I'm sending into them. Um, so I'm going to do the same with thread up. So I'll talk about what I've already sent, as well as um, what and what how those item and items are doing and then I'll show you what I'm going to send in for January and then in February I'll report back and let you know how things are going. So I will say there is a long lag in the bags for thread up unlike real real so we probably won't find out how this stuff does until like March. So we'll see March or even April. So we're going to start off with what I have sold this past month to thread up. So I got some notes here in my phone. Let me go to my thread up app. And if you are not already a part of thread up, I'll link my information, my join code below. So I think it might already be a link below, but definitely like consider like joining when you purchase something. I, I think you get something off your first purchase and then I'll get some credits. And what I do with my thread up credits is that I look on their sites for items that I can purchase then to resell. So um, it's just another way um, to support my channel. Um, one of the things I like to do with my credits is buy the re um, the boxes. I can't think of them. The boxes of stuff that don't sell. They have um, boxes that you can get. I like to do unboxing videos of those. So as soon as I get enough money in my account to purchase a thread out box, I will purchase it and do an unboxing. So let me go over that I had, I've sent in, I've sent in two bags. One that's processed and that one had 27 items in it. And of those 27, seven have sold. So um, I'm gonna go over what sold. So before I do that, my strategy for what I send are things that I just don't want in it to share anymore in my Poshmark closet. I've had them for a while. Um, I haven't been able to sell them on any of my platforms. They haven't gotten very much action. So I'm sending them on to thread up. As I've mentioned in my other videos, I am trying to list things that will bring me um, a $30 price point or higher. Um, and so these are items as I'm cleaning out each of the bins. Um, I'm kind of assessing like, is this an item that can bring me $30 or more? Or if it's not, is it trendy enough that it, if I relisted it, maybe took some new photos? Um, could I move it for, you know, quickly within the next season? Or is it something that I'm just ready to say goodbye to? Because I got to make space for my new stuff in the bins. So these are all items that I was ready to say goodbye to. And I don't remember how long I had them, but um, it's been a long time. So the first one is this Massimo Supply and Company pullover hoodie. Um, this was given to me. 
Uh, it sold on ThreadUp for $9.99. I got, let me see, a 7% payout of $0.75. Cents. Woohoo! <laughs> and then next was this Banana Republic Factory Store long sleeve t-shirt. It was tan. It sold for $9.99 also. Um, I got a payout of 7%, which was once again $0.75. Cents. And next up was this Maggie Barnes long sleeve blouse. It was, I think, a plus size. Let me see if I can see the info on it. Yeah, it was a 1X. So it sold for $19.99, and I got a 15% payout of $3. So as you can see with my thread up strategy, like this is just like bargain basement, like blared out. Let me try to recruit something so I can reinvest and move on. Um, so I'm happy to get something for it. Um, next is this Simply Vera Wang long sleeve blouse. I think it was also plus size. Yes, it was also a 1X. It sold for $22.99 and I got a 16% payout of $3.80. And then the next one were these Old Navy jeans, size 16. So it looks like bigger sizes do move. Um, they sold for $16.99 and I got a 12% payout of $2.16. And what else do we have here? A couple more. Next was this Tempo Paris Casual Dress. It was a size extra large. It sold for $15.99 and I got a 12% payout and it was um, $1.92. So the payout values are based on the level of the brand. So lower end brands, you get less of a payout, which like I said, I'm fine with because these are all things I'm just trying to get rid of. Next was this Forever 21 short sleeve t-shirt. It was a crop top. Um, it was Courtney's. It sold for $8.99. I got a 6% payout of $0.61. Cents. And those are my seven sales. So those seven things come to $12.99. So I could then, if I'm lucky, take those uh, that $12.99 if I wanted to and go to a dollar day and buy 12 items that I feel like I could list for $30 or more and move on with my life instead of hanging on to those things that um, were not very profitable. And, you know, just bad buys as I learned this reseller game. So that's what sold. Let me let you know, show you what I'm going to send now. So I have um, another box out, like I said, that hasn't been processed. So if that's processed by next month, I'll share with you from that one. But um, this has some deodorant on it. So I'm going to wash that. So this, you probably recognize it. I'm going to do this way. Let me situate myself here better. This is White House Black Market, and this was in a um, haul video back in December. I got this from my listing for my listing challenge, and I sold on Poshmark within a week of listing, but they returned it, and I'm just lazy and don't want to put it back in inventory, so I'm going to send it off. This I've had for over a year. It's bar three. It's just a career dress. My friend Carly donated it to me. Um, this is Francesca's, which is a mall brand, cute little spring dress. It just hasn't gotten any action. So I'm going to let it go. Now, these are kid shorts. These are Under Armour, and they've gotten no play, so I'm going to send them off and see what I can get for them there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to research to see if Thread Up even takes kids things. I will investigate and let you guys know. This is um, a philosophy dress. It's really cute. I don't know what, and comfy looking. It's a midi-length short sleeve dress. Hopefully they'll take it and it will get um, processed and put up for spring because I think it would be a great piece for spring. Um, this is Evan Pacone. It is a maxi length dress, dressy, it's semi-sheer. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it has pink polka dots on it and this ruffle detail. And I had gotten this at a Goodwill during a dollar day, and it just never got any action. This is Garnet Hill. I don't do well with this brand, and I had to stop picking it up. But this was a piece that I found in a basket of um, clothes that, um, I don't know, like <laughs> a death pile. We'll call it that. I'm not even going to call it a money pile. It was just a death pile. Hopefully, I can get some money for it right now. Um... My daughter is down in Georgia. She made the um, USA National Cheer Team, and it's their first practice in Georgia. So I am just checking my phone. I'm waiting for her to call just for an update to see how their evening practice went. This is silence and noise, so that's why I'm glancing at my phone, because every time the light's up, I'm checking to see if it's her. But it's just a little black skater dress. I forgot where I got those. Um, these are Charlotte Russe, and they are a boot. Um, they were returned. They sold on Poshmark, but they were returned. And since we're getting towards the end of boot season, I'm just like, what if? And there we go. Um, what are these? I might just do these. These just have a lot of peeling, and they're pink. Um leggings so I don't want to deal with them anymore <laughs> um, this was an eBay return but it's an Abercrombie crop cropped rugby shirt and so I'm gonna send that in this I think is this is um American Eagle just a champagne colored like skater dress this is Courtney's it's been listed for over a year with very little activity. And trust me, if any of these things would have sold, I would have been ex I would have taken any offer. These are Reebok, just black leggings. Um, I'm letting them go because as I thin out the bins, Reebok, re I've had them for a while with very little action and just Reebok doesn't move for me. Um, this is a Vans hoodie. Um, I thought, I remember picking this up for a dollar and thinking, oh, this looks all good. And it just, I don't know, this didn't go. So yeah, I'm going to send it in to thread up and see how it does over there. Oh, this is another thing that I thought was cute. So this is another silence and noise piece. This is a cute little romper. It just didn't get any action. Um, this is a athletic dress by the brand Jerry's. I've had it probably a little over a year. No action. Now this brand, Mason Jewels, normally the pieces sell. They just um, take a long time, but they don't sell for that much money. And so since I didn't have very much action on it last spring, I'm just going to let it go and hopefully it can sell on thread up this spring. Um, this is a Hurley, just graphic t-shirt, size small. And I think one of my sisters, one of my sisters, one of my daughter's friends gave that to me to resell. And it just hasn't sold. So this is a Trovi, um, just knit sweater. I haven't had any action on it. It's a size small. So, yep, sending it off. So I, as you can see, I have a lot of things going. This is J. Crew Mercantile, size medium, a black sweater with a cow neck. It should have gone a long time ago, but I was still dallying around. But better late than ever. The thing with um, Thread Up is that they only hold things for a short amount of time. So they might send. I did pay for the ten ninety nine bag. I forgot what that means. I will find out. I think I get my stuff back. The stuff that they don't take. So if they don't, the items that they don't take, at least that's what I was meaning for it to happen. The items that they don't take, mystery boxes, that's what they are called. The items that they don't take and you don't request back will go into mystery boxes. So um, I just would 
um, in some cases, rather have the items back. This is another Evan Pacone dress. Once again, I just thought it was a pretty dress, but you know, I did buy these things right before like the pandemic. And then of course we didn't go anywhere for two years. So people, maybe if I hang on to them, eh, I'm gonna let it go. I need to make a new one. This is an American Eagle sweater. And this is a, I don't know this brand. I don't even remember. Active USA. Just like a cottage core, like print halter dress, like tunic thing, mini dress. So hopefully that cottage core vibe is still vibing. And so I have a bunch of leggings that were given to me by my consignee and they just didn't move. Um, about half of them did, half of them didn't. These are LuLaRoe, and I don't know, since that docuseries, if anybody's going to fool with LuLaRoe, but <laughs> apparently not, because I couldn't sell them. These are Forever 21 leggings, and I did have some Forever 21 pieces sell on ThreadUp, so that is one brand I am not going to be listing anymore. Um, so that is going to go straight to thread up. So, um, if people don't give me things, like I have lots of friends that give me things to resell. If they give me old Navy, unless it's like denim or something plus size, I think I can sell. I'm going to accept it and just go ahead and send it straight into thread up. Same with, um, forever 21, unless it's plus size. Um, just because... I don't want to list those. <laughs> um, I'm really trying to get my average sale price up. These are plus size leggings by Always, and I have several pair in multiple patterns. That pair, this pair, and I thought this was a cute pattern. Let me see if I can turn my camera around. These are LuLaRoe. I'm going to keep these for myself. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, LuLaRoe is still buttery soft. The leggings are still buttery soft. So, um, I think that, I mean, it's unfortunate the way that worked out. But they had a decent product. These are always, the brand always leggings. So, as you can see, a ton of leggings going out. This is a loft um, knit mini skirt. And I have a couple of pair of shoes. I have these Steve Madden flats and these Old Navy flats. And then these Steve Madden flats. So three pair of shoes. And the label that they give you is only good for 30 pounds. So you have to make sure that you weigh your stuff. So this is the brand Tribal. Um, this is actually one of the more expensive brands that they do take over there at ThreadUp, like where you can get more money. So I'll be interested to see how much I can get for that. And then these are BCBG Max Azria, just a pair of gray or silver dress pants. They were a size two, so a really small size. And then I'm actually going to look up these two items to see if the real real takes them. Because if the real real take, will take them, I'm going to send them there. They're the brand Clues. And I just never got any action for either of these. And I just think they're great pieces. If I could fit them, I would definitely keep them. So, and this one's hooded. And both of these are like the white pant condition. So, yeah. So that is my thread up haul that I'm going to send out this month. I'm going to try to send out one every month. And as I learn more about thread up as a source of income, I'm going to share you with you the things that I learned along the way. If you have um, any thread up tips and tricks that you can share with the community, make sure you leave them in the comments. The more that you interact with the videos, the more um, they get pushed up in search and the more people who can find us. 
and join our reseller community. I do appreciate you for hanging out with me this long. And if you're still here, give me a like. If you're not subscribed and you want to be, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.